All right, so we're gonna go over knee on belly and using it for control and reacting to what your uh, opponent is doing and then using it to set up uh, pass and submission and stuff like that. So your knee on belly position, I have my shin across her hips where she bends. I wanna make sure that my belly button is pointed straight and that's gonna help me keep my leg out to the side. If I point my hips in like this, you can see my knee's already collapsing. It gives her something to grab. If I step in, she can start getting under. You know, there's, so I need to make sure that I, I protect this leg here by keeping my hips facing this way and not turning in. And I'm using this knee driving across and towards the floor to keep her flat. So it's this knee pressure this way that's keeping her hips flat. So a couple different ways that I can use this position here. So one, I'm going to show you how to use it for uh, what we call sneaky mount and getting to the mount from side control. So from side control, what you're going to do is you're going to look for inside position on this elbow. So a lot of times they'll be framing so it's easy to come under the elbow here. And then what I'm going to do is pop this knee up. I don't care where it lands, you just got to get it up on her hips here. And then what I'm going to do is push this knee across as I walk the knee on this side down. I want this knee to slide down towards her hips. So it's this knee pushing across the mat to the floor and the other knee sliding down towards her hips. If I need to, I can use this elbow to do the little spider walk and then raise and then get her elbow up. So if she is pushing down, then yes, then I use this to help make a little more space. And so I keep pushing this across, I keep pushing it across, bring this other knee down. If I need to use my foot to hook on the other side, I don't, I do that to push across. I get my knee to the floor, and then as soon as my knee's on the floor, I can bring my foot across, and then I can scrape my foot along the ground, squeeze my knees, and I've got good mount position. So that's sneaky mount. The other way that this will come up is if I'm trying to get that inside position and for whatever reason I can't or she starts to turn in towards me I can pop my knee up across the hips and then again I use it driving across to flatten her back out and then I come up to my knee on belly position and so from here I can you know do some stuff messing with her I'm looking for this inside position a lot of times I'll try and push on the knee or something right so as soon as I see a hole there I shoot under and get my elbow to the armpit and now I've got my underhook inside position I was looking for. So now I can push across again, bring my knee to the hip and then I'm squeezing my knees together here as I finish the same pass but using that, uh, using it from there. The other thing that I can do, so scoot down this way just a little bit, if I'm here and I get this inside position, or if she starts to turn in real hard, I come under and I scoop her shoulder and I pull up and I control. And then I'm going to put my hand over here, I'm gonna step around behind her head, and then I'm gonna pivot my knee in behind her shoulder. And I keep pivoting around, and if I do it right, my shin is gonna slide right into her armpit right here. So I can squeeze my knees tight, curl this leg in, Control, finish the, uh, the arm bar there. If they, can, if they defend right here, then you know, I, you know, I may need to bring this one around and go to a more traditional, or remember you need to grab their pants because you don't want them to run around. So they need to grab, or I need to set something up here before I start addressing that. But that's the, uh, the idea there. And so the other one uh, is if I'm same concept, I'm here and they just start to turn in real hard. I can just come around and just come around to the other side, right? So I just end up in side control on the other side. But that idea of coming around when they're turning into you real hard from that knee on belly position uh, helps you control that and, and uh, maintain your position there. So that's how you use knee on belly for control, reacting to what your uh, opponent is doing and then using it to set up passes and a submission.